Here we have a blue tongue skink. She's from the genus Taligua. This particular species is found in the woodlands and savannas of Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. Appearance-wise, she can reach lengths of up to 20 inches, and she can live 10 to 15 years. You can see that her coloration changes from head to toe, becoming much lighter, and the pattern disappears more. She has these very shiny, overlapping scales which provide protection. You can see that her body is elongated, but in comparison, she has very short, stubby limbs. Although she doesn't look very agile, they actually can make pretty quick getaways. Unlike most lizards, these guys do not lay eggs, which makes them pretty special. They can give live birth to up to 5 to 15 young after a 100-day gestation period. These guys are omnivorous, feeding on insects, small rodents, and, they, and plant matter. They can use their Jacobson's organ at the roof of their mouth to distinguish between their prey items. They will use their tongue, their long tongue, to flick odorous particles while they're foraging onto the organ for identification. Many skinks have the ability to lose their tails when they're being threatened by a predator. They can drop their tail and it gives them a chance to run away and make an escape. If you have a pet skink, you should never pick it up by the tail as it is a somewhat painful process and it will grow back but it will never look as good as the original. If you have a blue tongue skink, you should often take it outside as it is an ectotherm and it gets its energy and its heat from the sun.